vacation. We have two big vacation. One in the summertime, from June to almost September, end of June to beginning of September, two month summer vacation and winter vacation around one and a half month for Chinese New Year. Uh, we have uh, two different system. First system is uh, one week in autumn time, usually in October, two weeks in winter time. It's uh, end of December and beginning of January. One week in spring, usually it's on April uh, or end of March, and three months in summertime. And second system is five weeks study, one week uh, vacation. And I think they have only two months in summertime. But I'm not sure because my school prefers the first system. Yeah, we have this test. But uh, for my memory, I don't remember even the stupid, stupidest students stay on the previous grade. Usually everyone pass and uh, even teachers help. We have tests, but it's not so important compared to the last test in um, 12th grade. But you, have, you do have an exam before you go to college, right? Oh, yeah, of course. That one is super serious. International, yeah. everyone on the same day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a big difference that ours need to change school after elementary school, after junior high school. So every time change is like turning point of your life. Because if you go to the good school, you might have some good teacher, good students. If you go to the bad school, then all around you will be the bad students and bad teachers. It might affect the whole life of you. So we don't change school. You know that you start in this school and you will you will finish the school as long as you will not move to the other city or to the other uh, district of your city. You understand? So there is no point to study super hard <laughs> in middle school or elementary school. Uh, by the way, we're talking about public school here. So yeah. of course they have different system if it's private we, school. Yeah, we have gymnasium but now, and yeah. uh, let's say... Now we talk about a like, general public school. Mm -hmm. so, so everyone study hard last two years before university. This is the time when you really need to think about your where you're gonna go. Okay. <laughs> They in my had, school don't have, but uh, I heard and everyone know that. Yeah. Like in, in Ukraine, schools, in under cities. the table is super common mm -hmm. for the last 20, 30 years, mm -hmm. or all Soviet Union time Especially till now. Especially in universities. Especially in university, that you need to give something to professor than to get past. Even you are very good everyone student. Paid. I paid in university. Which is we not don't have. Not because I didn't visit class or I was stupid or I didn't pass exam. No, you just have to pay. For them it's normal. Yeah. To give something under the table. Mm -hmm. The same you go to the doctor, right? I remember and make, doctor saying yes. And make any paper in a government's building. You need to put something inside of your paper. I remember one of the professors before exam, it was the last uh, lesson before exam, and she said, did you see a red car outside? There is only one. We're like, yeah, she said, I'm going to change it. And then she asked the, the main student in the group, like captain, I don't know. She asked her to come and say, 60 US dollars each. Suka. <laughs> Yeah, and everyone pay. I feel in Taiwan or most of these Asian countries place, we have too high pressure for education, especially in Taiwan. Also, I heard in Hong Kong or big city in China, they're pushing their kids too hard that they don't have time to play. They don't have a proper childhood. All they have to do is to learn everything that we have this and school they after have time maybe even to choose what they want. No, first of all they Parents. don't know what to choose. They cannot choose when they are too little. But they spend all their time to go to the school after school, spend a whole day not playing, not with their parents, not with their friends, studying with their classmates, with teachers. Which is bad. Like 
They also go to all kind of talent school. Uh, okay, this is for you to apply college in the future. That's why you need to learn something. So I think it's not necessary. Too much pressure, okay? So I prefer my kid grow up, have more time to play, more time to try what he want. And maybe when he's going to the college or university, he know what he likes already. Instead of like a lot of Taiwanese, after they graduate, they still don't know what they want. So they go just totally different. Like they study, for example, engineering, and after they go to sell clothes or open a coffee shop, it's totally different than what they prepare all their life, 10, 10 15 years because they don't want it but their parents say hey maybe you should go this and if because everyone go to the college then you also need this so yeah now it's the time to change you should go but unless you know why you want it my conclusion for our education is why I would prefer our kids will go to Ukraine at least for this basic elementary education and until then they can decide. until they grow up they they can decide okay mm -hmm. maybe i want to go high school in somewhere i want to go college university in the other country they yeah. will have then we'll figure it out agree yeah Your i just conclusion i just want to say that um, uh, i'm pretty sure i have a good childhood I have a good memories from my school. It wasn't too stressful. It wasn't too hard for me. And uh, my parents was was teaching me. My parents is a, uh, they are teachers at the same school. My mom was my teacher in elementary school, and uh, father was my teacher in um, high school. I am a daughter of teachers, so those who doesn't know, it's a double pressure. Actually, nobody helps you that much because. You need to be an example for the others. My sister had the same uh, situation. We still think that school is something, nothing did wrong with us, with our childhood. Everything was pretty interesting and, uh, and we enjoyed, we enjoyed that time. My teacher beat me, but I, I still think she's a good teacher. Da, da, da. Don't make mistake. I know some people <laughs> hate their teacher because they beat them. And a lot of people think I learned nothing in school, everything is bullshit. But no, I, I think, yeah, they build me like a so norm. <laughs> <laughs> but at the same time, like, okay, I speak English good, from, learn from school, or I. Me too? Nobody yeah. beat me. And <laughs> no, English teacher don't beat me. But my teacher really, like, monitored us, like, make sure we go into the right way and we do a lot of physical training that's why we grow really strong when this junior high school but overall i think yeah uh in my education my teacher and my school also like pretty nice and i don't feel like okay i learned nothing it's all bullshit no but just i feel it's not necessary to have so much pressure to spend so much time Leave some comments because I'm really interested in what you you guys think about education system. If you want to ask Tanya something and make sure you leave in English because she cannot translate the comment. Yeah, there is no such a function in YouTube, so I always ask him. So if you want to ask her, write in English, then she will reply. If you write in Chinese, I will reply you. Thank okay? you for watching. See you next video.